Hi, this is Stephanie Crawl with Soulful Equine, and um, I'm just going to show a quick little tip about Pete's Goo. I'm not showing my face today because I've uh, been out um, working on the farm this morning and was too lazy to get all prettied up for the camera. So it's uh, nice and hot and humid here in Texas, so um, I just thought I would uh, not show my face today. Um, so, if you guys are okay with that, let's move on to the little lesson here. It's just a little tip about Pete's Goo. Um, Basically, this is a 50-50 uh, mix solution for thrush um, that I recommend to people to use for their horses. And uh, I got this, of course, from Pete Ramey. And um, basically, all it is is a 50-50 solution of uh, antibiotic ointment and athlete's foot cream. And all you do, you squirt the little tubes in here into some kind of container. I just got an old supplement container I, I had that was nice and clean and um, put it in there. And it doesn't take much. So, and then take a butter knife and just mix it up. I, this is one I already had. I didn't have any uh, new tubes. So um, just to kind of give you an idea of how to do this, you just put it in there and mix it up. Um, and then I use a 60 cc syringe here. You can see it's just one you can go get at your uh, feed store or whatever, vet supply. And um, mine's been kind of sitting in the truck so it's and i've been using it a lot so uh it's kind of <laughs> beat up i also make sure i keep this piece of it that comes with it so when I'm, I'm storing it you know in my bag or whatever when i'm not using it i have a place to put it so it doesn't just squirt out everywhere so i keep that around um, that's kind of optional but that's what i do um, one of the biggest mistakes I see people make when they're doing this, uh, first of all, they try to fill this up way too full. And what happens is when you fill that up way too full, and, and this is way up here, you can't, and you need to operate it with one hand when you're under the horse because you're holding the hoof with one, one, one hand and this with the other hand. So you want to make sure that you, um, you ha don't fill it up more than, I would say, 10 maybe 10 cc's to 15 no more than 15 just um, you know not much past right there and uh, that way you'll be able to easily put it in on your horse without straining yourself <laughs> okay so basically all you do is you take an old but a butter knife you know that you can use for this purpose and take a little bit out of the out of the can the your mixture here doesn't take much I already have a little bit in there there's not a lot in there but um, just stick it in there like so and uh, wipe it off like I said it doesn't take much a lot of people try to fill the whole thing up and that that's one of the biggest mistakes I see people make even though this seems really simple there's just the little tips that make a world of difference okay so then the other thing just stick this in here now mine's been sitting in the sun so mine's probably not gonna go in as easy as y'all's brand new one will so I'm just gonna you know stick it in here we'll see how this goes yep see mine's been warped from the sun so or the heat and the humidity here in Texas but y'all's probably won't be so you stick it in there like that push it all the way down and you can see I'm right at 15 what do you know you just see and there wasn't much that there really wasn't hardly any in there already um, but you can see I didn't put very much on the butter knife so it takes very little so and then then what you do you hold the hoof and stick it in there like that and see how I can just hold it with one hand and then just barely squirt it out and it doesn't take much at all when you're putting it on the hoof well, that's it just a simple little tip and uh, this is kind of part of our review it's not really a product it's just a kind of a um, a mixture of, of different things uh, so I hope this helps you with um, you know your thrush issues and things like that and I'll explain more in the article on thrush okay I'm just going to demonstrate this um, hoof doesn't really have problems but um, he we just got a rain and uh, I was just going to kind of show you um, he lives on this guy lives on really hard dry uh, flat ground during the summer and we just got rain so um, his, his frog is a little bit kind of swollen up. We got quite a bit of rain yesterday. And he's also due for trim. Um, so clean it out. And usually I will put thrush stuff on it when, or I'll put this in the hoof when, after I've trimmed a horse. Or, uh, you know, I'll just make sure it's all cleaned out pretty good. And uh, ways you, uh, just to demonstrate how to use this. You know, we can, you just kind of can put it into the frog area here. Maybe then put it in like that. Maybe if you need some around the frog this way. You can do that. 
And if you have a horse with a white line issue, maybe some gunk down in here or maybe even a, a crack in the hoof wall, um, even on the outside hoof wall, you might want to kind of put some in that too. But that's all there is to it. Just hold it, hold the hoof, and hopefully you have a horse that's nice and, uh, um, you know, uh, cooperative as this horse. And hold the foot and squirt and then politely put the foot down. And that's it. That's all there is to it.